Welcome to In Touch Night Live. Yes, at derechong derecho kami sa inyo tonight, no mm -hmm. more countdown and it's it's just because we're eager to meet you at para maiwasan natin ulit yung mga naenkuentro nating technical problems last time. So ngayon, uh derecho na tayo and we are just so uh, excited to be with you and to fellowship with you because we are going to launch and start and prepare mm -hmm. all of us for this coming two weeks that there is a special event na mangyayari sa ating lahat. At mamaya that, namin ipagpapag, ipapaliwanag yon Gusto muna namin bumate ng mm -hmm. maganda at malamig na gabi. Teka, hindi ko pa <laughs> nasahit na sabi yung dialogue ko. Uh -oh. Welcome to each night, e, ano? Welcome to In Touch Night Live where we would like to be in touch with you, mm -hmm. with God, and with His Word. Yes. At ito, alam nyo po, ah, uh, Siyempre, lahat tayo, uh, marami ding natututunan kahit hindi tayo masyadong teki Pero, I'd like to appreciate all of you na palaging sumusubaybay, nakikiisa sa panalangin at fellowship natin. Uh, ako po ulit si Ate May, and this is our pastor. Pastor Pas Daniel Masanga, yes. or Pope. At meron tayong tinatawag ng mga top fan. Ito yung palaging andito, palaging... Um, bumabate at nag engage bukod sa ating mga primary G12 leaders na palagi nating kasama. Uh, sila Presi, sila Josie, sila Eva, Baby, at lahat sila, si Lara, sila Joyce. Mm -hmm. I'd like to also mention sila Max Cinco, yung top fan. Mm -hmm. Ibig sabihin, palaging nakasubaybay at nagsishare. Si Ruth Santiago, nandyan. Nakita yes. ko si Pinsan. Yes, at si, si Irish. Mm -hmm. Siya, natutuwa ako sa pamilya nito, palaging nakasubaybay. Ayan. At itong mga youth natin, ano, nakakatuwa sila Angelica, sila Jen, Angelica Kison, si Jen Soriano, at syempre yung aming in-touch leaders. Si Michelle. Yeah, Michelle de Guzman mm -hmm. from Pangasinan. Kahit mahirap ang kanyang in connection, internet connection, ay palaging nakaabang at sumusubaybay at sumasama sa ating panalangin. Of course, we have Christina mm -hmm. at si Estre. Sana magaling ka na. Hello, Estre. And Jessica Leano. Hello. Kaka-birthday lang ni Jessica last Saturday. And, of course, andito si Ate Minda, Rance. Mm -hmm. Minda, uh, Rance. Oh. And, Yes, we have Pode de Guzman, si Rayuel Tenya, at saka yung pamilya niya. Siyempre, kasama dyan si, ano, si, si sister niya. Ayan. Si, biglang nag-mental block ako. Si, basta, yung youth. <laughs> si Rene, yung magaling kumanta. Uh, Napaka-talented na youth. Ayan, si Rene. Sorry, Rene. And, of course, Si Gio, Gio, ang ating Gio. Uh, masigasig na... From Zoom. Oo. And of course, hi to you, girl, Lance. Miss ya, Max Cinco, welcome to you and your friends. And all of you, tonight, um, masarap pa no, panalangin natin na mahaba-haba yung panahon ng malamig. Kasi konting kembot na lang, mainit na naman summer. But let us enjoy this evening. And we will start by, you know, asking the Lord's presence to mm. to go before us this evening. So yes. Okay. Alam niyo, maganda, uh, before we do anything, before we start uh, our studies, start a uh, program, go driving, or whatever we are doing, uh, maganda pong uh, inumpisahan natin sa panalangin. And again, that prayer is about acknowledging who God is in our lives. And He is the Lord of our lives. Okay? Tayo pumikit at uh, manalangin po tayong lahat. Panginaming Diyos, we welcome your presence in our midst. Lord, kung nasaan kami ngayon at lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon ay nandung ka rin because you are omnipresent God. At naririnig mo lahat, Panginoon, yung mga dalangin namin. And you know what's in our hearts, what's in our mind. Lord, alam mo, Panginoon, yung mga burdens namin, alam mo yung mga problema namin, alam mo yung kinabukasan namin, alam mo yung future namin, yung past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. 
sa pagkat ikaw ay Diyos. Mm-hmm. Kaya, Lord, we welcome your presence. Nawa, Panginoon, ay matuwa ka sa, sa iyong mga anak. And we will make this effort, Lord, to connect with you mm-hmm. and to connect with one another and to, to connect other people towards you, Lord, mm-hmm. through prayer. And, Lord, bukas, uh, we will be uh, talking about prayer and fasting, pero, Lord, teach us how to pray. Kasi madalas Panginoon hindi po namin alam kung paano manalangin talaga na galing sa aming puso. Kaya hiniling po namin ang iyong banal na spirito na lukuban niyo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Come Holy Spirit, fill us O God. Gamitin niyo po ako at ang aking asawa, si May, upang kami po ay maging daluyan ng pagpapala sa pamamagitan ng Uh, in touch night live na ito, Panginoon. At lahat ng makikinig ngayon, Panginoon, hipuin mo. Again, we welcome your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, uh, nabanggit na po na, ni Pastor, no? Ay, that, na, po, yes. sabi ko na pala, no? Yes. Kung, At sabi mo, tomorrow pag-uusapan uh, natin. Actually, ngayon pag-uusapan uh, uh, na tomorrow natin. Yung, tomorrow <laughs> yung, start. yung start ng prayer and fasting yes. natin. Yes. Uh, uh, so, What we will talk about, uh, we mentioned it to you last Wednesday, and we will talk about it ma- more tonight. At yes. ano ba yung prayer and fasting? Marami po sa ating spiritual family has been joining us yearly, uh, every year, every start of the year, doing this prayer and fasting. But for many of you joining us for the first time, itong taon na to, we want to explain it a bit more and we want you to have a good experience as you do this na hindi nyo katatakutan o um, yun so, and um, uh, we're also excited kasi hindi lamang yung spiritual family natin dito sa bandang Pasig dito sa bandang Kanyoga na gagawin natin to yung the First Presbyterian Church of Pasig family na we will align ourselves with the heart of God in prayer and in fasting, yung mm-hmm. focus. But you know, if you notice that at this time, at this point, marami pong Christian churches are, are mm-hmm. also doing this. So, kumaga yung iba nag-start na, yung iba mm-hmm. magsisimula pa lang, yung iba. Pero this is a good way to really start the year because we all recognize that we need God to go before us this year as we... As we set our plans, or as we listen to God, doing the planning for us, giving us direction as we set our plans. So, kung ilan sa inyo nakapag-plan na, uh, baka maaaring mabago yan pag nakinig tayo sa Lord. At yung hindi pa man, hindi pa nakakapagpa-plano, hindi pa huli ang lahat because this is a good time to listen to the Lord. So, let us talk about what is prayer and fasting, but what is our schedule? Our prayer and fasting will start tomorrow, officially, and then it will end on January 27, okay? Yun yung ating, um, uh, it's going to be an in-touch evening also, and we'll have a special fellowship that evening, okay? Mm-hmm. So, ano ba, siguro itong panahon ng pandemic at inabot na tayo ng year 2021, we have been talking about what prayer is, okay? At, hindi din naman mauubos ang panahon ubang pag-usapan ang panalangin at malawak ang prayer. And then, you know, prayer is something na walang makakapagsabi na na-master ko na. Kahit yung mga matatanda na sa pananampalataya, walang pwedeng magsabi o mag- maging proud na sabi I've mastered prayer in my life. So, all of us are palaging, kumbaga, We are growing, growing in, in prayer. prayer. So, pero yun nga, we have been talking about prayer and this gathering is always about prayer centered on the presence of God and who God is. But let's talk about what fasting is. Mm, mm, okay. so, so, before I start uh, talking about fasting, okay, ang tawag na gagawin natin bukas, ano, pero pag-usapan natin ngayon, it's about prayer and fasting joined together. Yes. <clears throat> Kasi we can pray all the time, okay? Pero bakit natin lalagyan ng fasting? Ang fasting kasi, it's the, para sa mga nagpapacheck up, di ba? Bago ka magkaroon ng uh, blood works, kailangan mag-fasting ka muna ng mga 8 hours. 8 hours bago ka kuna ng dugo. So, 
ang 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 fasting is literally about uh, not eating food, physical food. Yun yung, or abs- uh, abstaining or parang uh, you are setting a time, this time of fasting, na hindi ka muna nagpapasyaka, dinedetermine mo na hindi muna ako kakain. Oh, oh yeah. It's a decision na, Lord, uh, hindi ako kakain. Bakit? Parang the same way, para, Lord, para matest mo ko, para mas makilala kita. At uh, makita mo ang laman ng puso ko at makita ko rin yung laman ng puso mo. So, it's about abstaining from food, from eating. Yes. Okay? So, bakit kailangan mag-abstain? Kasi alam nyo, kadalasan, ang nagiging Diyos-Diyosa natin yung tiyan natin. Diba? Kita nyo ha, pagising nyo sa umaga, ano kagad hahanapin nyo? Kumukulo yung tiyan nyo, yung iba kape, diba? yung iba kape, tapos pandisal, sarap isaw-saw yung pandisal sa mainit na kape, lagyan mo ng butter. Parang ginugutom mo mm-hmm. kami lalo niya. So, parang, parang nagiging just, tapos kapag uh, eksaktong-eksakto yan, mga 11.30, yung, yung chan mo, kumukulo-kulo na. So, kailangan mong kumain. So, there is a need to eat. So, every day we eat three to four times to five times or six times a day. Okay? Bakit yun? To satisfy our body. Ngayon, for a change, sabi ng Panginoon, we have to come to Him okay, through prayer and fasting. Ibig sabihin, aalisin natin yung pagiging, uh, yung power ng pagkain sa buhay natin and we will allow the power of God to work in our lives. And that is, masasabi natin, this is intentional. Kasi gagawin mo kaya, pag-iisipan mo, pagpaplanuhan mo. And, and sa prayer and fasting natin, last year kasi, it's only 7 days. Ngayon, uh, 14 days na. Di 24. 14 days na ang prayer. We have prayer. done it 40, 40 days before. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. It was our time. Okay. So, 14 days ang ating prayer and fasting. So, ang focus natin, again, intentional. And this is an, also an aggressive move. Kasi this is this will also take sacrifice. Uh, it will take... Uh, it, it will uh, affect our body system kasi yung metabolism natin araw-araw kumakain tayo ngayon medyo either magbabawas ka or you can skip a meal or you can pwede yung full fast na eh, for, for for 14 days na walang walang pagkain so it will really affect our body system ay in digestive system natin pero napakaganda ng epekto nito bakit kasi magfo-focus tayo sa ating Panginoon. So, it's about giving our time, giving our life to the Lord, giving our hearts to the Lord. Sabi sa Joel chapter 2 verse uh, 12, okay, to 13. Sabi dito, even now sa NIV version, even now declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. 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 Yung pag weep, ano, weeping and mourning. Sabing, sabi ng Panginoon, ito yung declaration, return to me. To, re- to return to the Lord means to go back to the Lord. Kasi, madalas kasi we're so busy with what we are doing, we are so busy with, with, with many things, but sometimes we tend to forget the Lord. So this time, ang sabi ng Panginoon, mag-focus kayo sa akin. Okay? Return to me with all your heart. Buong puso daw. Buong puso daw, lumapit tayo sa Panginoon at ibigay natin yung ating oras sa Panginoon. Through prayer. Sabi, with fasting and weeping. What, why, bakit may kasamang weeping and mourning? Bakit? Eh kasi, yung, yung, we, tayo kasi ay natural na makasalanan. Okay? So we look at God, the Holy God, compared to the Holy God at saka tayo, talagang, we have to be uh, repentant before the Lord. We have to seek, ask for forgiveness from the Lord. Okay? So, with weeping, ibig sabihin, nagsusisisi ka at ikaw ay parang sinasabi mo, Lord, ayoko ng buhay na ganito. Okay? Alam nyo, there are times na masyado tayo nag enjoy sa, sa buhay natin to the point na we are also enjoying sin. Okay? Minsan yung uh, simpleng kasalanan lang yan. Kunyari, unforgiveness, sin na, we are not having time with the Lord. So, the Lord is a jealous God. And sabi ng Panginoon, come to me, hali kayo, luma, return to me. 
kasi binebless kita, bumalik ka sa akin with all your heart. Okay? With fasting and weeping and mourning. Sa verse 13, ito, sabi dito, rend your heart and not your garment. Rend your heart, give your heart. Kasi nung araw, ang 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 may costume mga man nagpa-fasting eh, naka-sackcloth sila. Para talagang, uh, talagang nag, kahit si King David, yun ang outfit nila para sa prayer and fasting nila. So nagpa-fast sila sa mukhang kawawa. Pero minsan, nagiging attitude kasi, it's for, just for show. Para makita, ay naku, bait-bait naman. Uy naku, makadyos. Uy naku, nananalangin siya. Pero sabi dito, ang importante ay yung puso daw natin. So rend your heart and not your garment. Return to the Lord. Ito sinabi na, return to the Lord your God. Why? For He is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, and abounding in love, and He relents from sending calamity. Medyo anuhan ko lang ng kaunti, ano? Sabi, return to the Lord your God. Bumalik tayo dun sa ating Diyos. Kasi minsan, medyo Diyos, nagiging Diyos Diyosan natin yung trabaho natin, nagiging Diyos Diyosan natin yung sarili natin, nagiging Diyos Diyosan natin yung yung mga ari-arian natin, even yung hobbies natin. Bakit naging Diyos Diyosang? Kasi we give more time, yung effort natin. We give we give everything to 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 those things that we love. Pero ang tanong, do we love God? So through prayer and fasting, pinapakita natin si Lord, kay Lord, na Lord mas importante ka sa pagkain. Mas importante ka sa lunch, mas importante ka sa breakfast, mas importante ka sa dinner. Yes. So the Lord is compassionate, He is gracious, and He is slow to anger. Kasi alam nyo, may kabayaran ng kasalanan eh. Kapag pinagpalit natin si Lord, may kapahamakan na dudulot ito. At sa sabi ng the Lord is slow to anger, He is waiting for us to repent, and He is abounding in love. He wants to show His love for you and for me. Gusto niya tayong i-bless, okay, fully, okay? And he relents from sending calamity. Actually, he hold niya yung, yung kanyang discipline sa atin. Mag-repent ka lang. I will forgive you. I will cleanse you. He will uh, relent from, except yung relent yung, we withhold niya. Yung, yung, yung kabayaran ng kasalanan natin, yung kapahamakan. So, it's about giving our hearts to the Lord. It's about returning to the Lord with all of our hearts. Yes. Yun yung prayer and fasting. So, in essence, yun yung kabuuan ng prayer and fasting. Again, uh, do sa sinasabi ni Pastor, from at the onset, sa start pa lang, meron sinabi niya intentionality. Meron ng kahandaan na magsise, mag-align ang puso natin, i-align ang puso natin sa puso ng Diyos. So, pero maaring ikaw na nakikinig ngayon, wala ka pang idea o maaring hindi mo pa ito nararanasan and you feel like I want to do it but my heart is, it seems far away from God, then this is a good time to do it. Maaring you will start not on the right foot. Kumbaga, ganun naman eh. Pero any attempt to come closer to God is a good attempt and it's it's not a waste of your time. So, kahit parang feeling mo hindi pa ready yung heart mo, mm-hmm. once you start and ask the Lord, Lord, I want to do this because I want to get to know you more, then there will be a change for sure in the way you, yung attitude mo. So again, fasting is aligning ourselves, reconnecting ourselves to God. So, maaring yung iba handa na spiritually, physically mag prayer and fast yung iba naman hindi pa handa spiritually nga at feeling nila parang hindi bukas pa lang o di why not you know it's we will all kumbaga uh, start from zero mm-hmm. okay sa ating prayer and fasting wala ditong mas nauna mas magaling mas spiritual before the lord ang importante tayo ang gusto natin makita ng lord yung eagerness natin, yung willingness natin. At bakit kailangan parang pwedeng isipin nyo pwede naman akong marugdob na manalangin without um, without having to deny myself of food, lalo nga ako madidistract. But you know, sometimes when we deny ourselves of that, that food and we experience hunger, alam nyo yung 
we want God to feel that hunger yung Ah, uh, yung kasi may gusto gusto nating masatisfy Lord in this moment na nagugutom ako. Let your reality, yung presence mo maging totoo sa buhay ko. At alam niyo po, ah, hindi ko mapaliwanag sa mga experiences namin ni Pastor, yung mga moments na nananalangin ka, nagugutom, nanan nagugutom, ka at sa panahon 'yon nagugutom ka. When para sa simula mahirap pero Once you you know the Holy Spirit naman of the Lord, the Holy Spirit of God is at work helping us to pray. Don't ever think that it's a one man thing na tayo lang yung kumikilos pag nagpe-prayer and fasting. Mm-hmm. You know, God is prepared to meet us God actually. Is God is moving and he is really prepared to meet each one of us. So, alam niyo nakaantabay siya. Nako anong oras na lapit tong itong anak kong ito at ako'y handang makinig at handa siyang pagpalain, handa siyang kausapin ko siya. So anyway, mm-hmm. God is going I think to feed us. Mm-hmm. So if it is fasting from food, it is also a spiritual feasting. Mm-hmm. Feasting on the presence of God. At pwede pong sinasabi mm-hmm. namin to pero naniniwala ako may kaparaanan ng Diyos upang ipahayag at ipakilala kung sino siya in a personal way sa bawat isa sa atin. Sa panahon na parang gutom ka, o hindi mo alam ang gagawin mo, ano, o hindi mo uh, bib- alam ang bibigkasin mong panalangin, He will be there to guide you. So, mamaya, meron pa rin kaming guidelines on what to do during prayer and fasting. Yung, yung prayer and fasting kasi it's all like, it's like consecrating ourselves. Parang inaalay natin yung sarili yes. natin. Kasi napagandang umpisahan ang taon. Yes. Na Lord, I would like to offer my life to you yes. today. Starting this 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 month na to, January, Lord, I would like to start the year right. Sabi sa Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. Bago bago daw ibigay ng ng Panginoon yung promise ng Panginoon sa kanya yung promise land. Sabi dito, sabi ni Joshua, Joshua told the people, Joshua 3:5, "Consecrate yourselves for tomorrow" the Lord will do amazing things yes. among you. Ulitin ko ano? Consecrate yourselves. Ialay daw natin ang ating sarili sa Panginoon. Give your heart to the Lord. For tomorrow, bukas na bukas daw, these coming days, the Lord will do amazing things among you. Yes. God will do amazing things in your life this 2021. Ngayon pa lang January, God will do amazing things for you. So, since we are expecting to encounter God, ex- expecting to ex- experience God, we have to offer ourselves, consecrate, ihanda na natin yung sarili natin in coming the presence of the Lord. Bakit? Because He's a holy God. He's a perfect God. Only God can 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 cleanse us. Siya din ang po pwede mag-cleanse. Kaya nga, kaya kailangan lumapit tayo sa Kanya. It is only He who can change us, who can cleanse us, And who can bless us? So, that's why we have to consecrate. Ialay natin. Let us uh, be cleansed by the Lord. So, parang ang fasting din, it's cleansing. ba? Diba? So, kung gusto mo, kaya nga, kailangan mag-cleanse tayo yung, yung katawan natin through fasting. The same way, may spiritual cleansing din ang gagawin natin dito sa prayer and fasting na ito. Yes. So, ihalin tulad, maganda yung sinabi ni Pastor now, consecration is preparation. Mm-hmm. So, When God, you know, when God does a miracle, a uh, 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 big thing, um, an amazing thing in the Bible, hinahanda niya yung tao niya. At sinasabi niya, consecrate. Ang sinasabi niya dito, meron kong gagawin na kamangha-mangha. Ihanda niyo sarili niyo. Kasi kapag wala ka sa presensya ko, baka mamiss mo. Mm-hmm. Baka hindi mo makita. Pwedeng andyan ka physically, pero... What I'm doing, you might miss it in the physical uh, sense. Ano? So Pero, don't miss the blessing. Yes. So when God says, I'm going to do something, hindi siya nagsisinungaling. So, pero uh, yung parte na imposible, yun yung parte ng Diyos. It, all, it is always God who does the impossible. Our job is always the easier part. Yung consecrate. Again, Consecrate means making a decision that I will make time for God, I will focus, 
I will give myself. When you say consent, sa Bible, sa lumang, uh, sa Old Testament point, consecration does not only mean focus. They have to take a bath. They have to cleansing. Cleansing. Kailangan may damit sila na for consecration na damit. So, preparation to be in the presence of God. Sa atin, consecration is spiritual. I'm setting a time in this 356, may 365 days, di ba? 365 days this 2021. So, ang we are setting apart 14 days, di ba? To, to be ready for what God is going to do. And, you know, ito nga, di ba pagka may operasyon, na ang operasyon is to make us feel better, to make us get better when there is a sickness mm-hmm. or a tumor, kung may gagawing operasyon, is to make us better. Palaging merong fasting prior to the uh, operation. And the fasting is not to make us uh, to make us suffer even more, but it prepares our body mm-hmm. so that the operation, the surgery, will go well. Mm-hmm. So sa akin lang, ipaghahanda ito at huwag po kayong matakot for those of you na hindi pa, ha, oh, magugutom ako, um, mag-uusapan natin, mm-hmm. there are different forms of fasting uh, and a little oh, while. Meron akong idadagdag, ano? Kasi ang, ang fasting kasi, it's acknowledging also the Lordship of God in your life. Yes. So kasi, katulad sinabi ko kanina, madalas kasi nagiging Lord natin yung, yung pagkain. So, actually, si, si Lord then He is our spiritual food. Yung Word of God is, the spirit, is our spiritual food. And when God speaks to us through His Word, and even through prayer, mm-hmm. he speaks, it will nourish us. At alam niyo po ba, ang, ang spiritual food is eternal. Pang, ano, pang walang hanggan yan. Pero yung pagkain natin, yung kinakain natin, sandali lang yan, madadigest yan, tapos lalabas yung, yung mga dumi natin. Ano? Pero, pero ang salita ng Panginoon, it, it is eternal. It holds forever. Kasi ang pangako ng Panginoon, uh, he, he, he is true to His promise. Yes. Kaya gagawin ng Panginoon. Kaya God will do amazing things in your life. Katulad nung sinabi kay Joshua, sinabi ni Joshua, no? kasi makukonker na nila yung yung promised land. O, so, tatawid o tatawid sila sa promised land. So, since may pangako yun, may mga pangako si Lord, kaya sabi, i-prepare nyo yung sarili nyo. Because 2021, God will reveal to you, God will fulfill His promises to you. Mm-mm. Yes. And so, uh, how do we go about prayer and fasting? Mm-mm. So, meron tayong mga we would like to prepare You, although we mentioned this last uh, last Wednesday, pinahapiawan na po namin. So, uulitin po namin para doon sa mga bago nating kasama, tagapakinig. So, we we will plan, una-una po, uh, to start our fast, we need to plan for it. So, mm-hmm. tomorrow na yung mangyayari. So, let's, tonight, before you go to bed, plan your fast. How do you plan it? So, unang-una, you pray and ask God, Lord, how do you want me to do it? Holy Spirit, pag magpa-fast ako, may goal. Pag tayo ay, when we go into prayer and fasting, we are we are setting a goal for ourselves. Sabi nga, consecration. Pero, may sinasabi ka sa Lord, may tatanungin ka sa Lord, what do you want me to experience? So, ang goal natin, sa prayer and fasting, it's it's not the doing only, yung kailangan ko gawin to Lord, pag nag-prayer and fasting ako, gagawin ko to o hindi ko to gagawin. The focus is not only on the doing and the not the doing, mm-hmm. but the focus is on who you want to become. So, for example, Lord, itong prayer and fasting season na to, itong panahon na to, I'd like to be more calm, trusting, and less Uh, uh, less fearful or uh, hindi ako mag-worry or Lord, I want to experience a breakthrough in my life, yung aking mm-hmm. habits mm-hmm. sinful habits, mawala so it's more of you becoming a new person so you're asking God Lord, ang goal ko is mabago and so, pagbabago yun, to be like Him yes. kung dating mainitin yung ulo mo diba? Lord, give me patience yung fruit of the Spirit will be manifested in your life through prayer and fasting. Yes. So, you 
ask the Lord. Lord, and then you also, you tell the Lord, ikaw, saliksikin mo yung puso mo, ganito akong klaseng tao. When we come, again, ano, the, the goal of prayer and fasting is to experience the presence of God so that in His presence, we will experience change and transformation. Right. Hindi lang parang, ay, yung parang nagkakaroon tayo kumbaga ng spiritual points, oy nakumpleto ko yung divo ko o nakapag-prayer na nakayanan kong hindi kumain ng 14 days. Hindi yun na yung goal. That's not the goal na naging successful ako, napigilan kong hindi kumain. That's not your goal. The goal is what you want to become. Okay? What change? So, you you set some goals and kasama dun sa goal na yon So, you pray and ask the Holy Spirit to to lead you to that goal. Kasi i-reveal ng Spirit sa iyo na ganito kang klaseng tao at ang Diyos gusto kang baguhin mm. to become like this. Pangalawa po, um, sa ating planning and preparing to fast, you commit to a type of fast. Ibig sabihin, iisipin mo anong klaseng fasting o food um, denial ang kailangan at kaya ko sa sitwasyon ko at bagay sa akin. At you will commit to the type to the type of fast for the rest of 14 days hindi pa bago-bago example some people commit to full fast full fast means hindi sila talaga kakain binanggit na namin to last time so that days before actually too late baka late na kung magpo full fast ka tapos kumakain ka pa ng madami this time baka mabigla yung chan mo so anyway Uh, so yun, talagang walang kakainin na solid but only liquid. Okay, only liquid. So yung tinatawag din nilang puro iinom lang ng tubig or juice. Okay? So, meron namang tinatawag na partial fast. Yung partial fast, this involves keeping some meals. Yung iba, sabi nila, uh, hindi ako kakain ng isang meal. Oh, halimbawa, pinaka... Yung meal na pinaka parang gustong-gusto mo, yung iba ganito yung, kasi yun yung mahirap sa akin. Ay, hindi ako magpa-fast ng breakfast kasi usually breakfast, hindi naman ako nagbe-breakfast. So, bakit ako magpa-fast ng breakfast? So, uh, example lang yan. So, you you choose which meal you want to skip. And hindi ka lang nag-skip ng meal and then you say, I'm done with the fasting, nag-skip ako ng meals. During that time, The, during the time that you are skipping your meals, you are saying at that time, yun yung aking piniling oras na mananalangin. Okay? So, it's it's a combo, kumbaga. It's a combination na pag nag-fast tayo this time, it's always combined with prayer. So, also for some people, they say, I only will eat yung partial fast, I only... I will only eat one meal a day. Yung iba naman, isang beses lang kakain. Mm-hmm. And then, they will choose a, cert, um, a certain time of the day where they can really uh, focus in prayer and listening to the Lord. So again, pipiliin mo. And then, you commit to that type of fast. Kasi alam nyo mo, mahihirapan din kayo at mahihirapan din yung katawan nyo kung paiba-iba araw-araw yung fasting mm-hmm. nyo. Okay? Well, ngayon, mm-hmm. gagawin ko ganito, tas ah, bukas iba. Mm-hmm. So, when you commit to a type of fast, you that's the same for the 14 days. Okay? Ngayon po, kung kayo naman ay may sakit, again, uh, at may medical condition na umiinom kayo palagi on a regular basis ng gamot, then, you might have to reconsider fasting on food or baka hindi kaya o hindi pwede kang kumain, ah, hindi ka pwedeng mag-skip ng meals kasi bawal sa tiyan mo. And some people do this, they they do the Daniel's fast. Daniel's fast naman is fasting on meat. So, they only eat, during, uh, pag Daniel's fast, they only eat fruits and vegetables. Tapos, may tinatawag na modified Daniel's fast where they eat some carbohydrates meaning mm-hmm. bread and uh, rice or fish modified yun kasi pag sinabi no meat talaga no no white meat also pero yung modified nga kasi kailangan may laman ng chan so pwedeng ganon now 
hindi po ito pagalingan, hindi mm. po ito contest. Mas magaling ako, mm. mas spiritual ako dahil full fast ako. Full fast ako. Hindi po ganon. Mm. Wala po, because nobody, we are not, we will not brag about this to each other. This is our commitment to the Lord because we want to have this discipline and we, yung discipline na i-commit natin, that's, that's, that will reflect our, yung pagiging seryoso natin sa Panginoon. At hindi nga, kami ni Pastor, magkaiba kami ng fasting palagi. And we have to plan. Why do we need to plan? Kasi family po kami. So, ang mga anak ko, I don't, we don't impose to them because we allow the 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 Holy Spirit to speak to them the type of fast that they will do. So kami we coordinate. So as a family, ang tatanungan kami anong fasting mm-hmm. mo. So kung may kakain anong oras ba magluluto ba ako mm-hmm. o hindi. So pwedeng pag-usapan okay. ngayon. Wag niyo po ipilit yung type of fast niyo sa ibang tao or halimbawa sa si leader ka o tayong lahat ganito hindi, hindi ganon unless you all agree that you will have the same kind of mm-hmm. fast mm-hmm. okay so Pero may dadagdag lang ako no yung type of fast kasi po pwedeng di ba sabi mo kanina wag pa iba-iba pero kasi may mag, naging iba kasi nag-start kita try ko na to no nag-start ako ng skipping meals lang muna first few days then the second week ay nagpo-full fast ako. Ganun ang po pwedeng, uh, uh, para pinaprepare mo sa inyo, skip one meal, then skip two meals, then after ilang days, you skip uh, all meals na water lang. So, po pwedeng ganun din naman ang, ang, ang schedule niyo. Oo. Mm. So, again, it's up to you because what that's what, yun nga, yun nga yung kung halimbawa late ka na nag-prepare for, for a full fast. Like, you wanted to do full fast, however, mm. the previous, uh, the previous days, hindi possible yon because you had to, you know, do something. So, and then you intend to do full fast. However, it's too, too soon to prepare your body. So, yun sinasabi ni Pastor. Unti-unti lang. Unti, gradual. Unti, unti. So, increase. And in this this case, pag gano'n nangyari kasi ina-extend niya din yung fasting niya. Mm. So, kami minsan, we extend our fast ng beyond 14 days. So, anyway, mm. again, ito ay commitment natin sa Lord. So, you commit to a type of fast and you say, Lord, this is what I want to do. You will help me. And then, the time, as you prepare, you commit to a fast, you also commit to a time. Mm-hmm. Every day, the same time that you will pray. And that's the time you are saying, wala akong gagawin. Gagamitin ko tong oras na to para manalangin at makinig sa Diyos. Ngayon, you also prepare not only time and uh, the 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 time but the place kasi syempre hindi naman lahat sa atin ay may kanya-kanyang sariling kwarto so saan mo halimbawa yung iba sa atin gusto manalangin tahimik pero may kasama ka sa bahay na nagwo-work from home at kailangan ng may noise so you have to also adjust and prepare yourself to to have that space to be able to find peace and quiet and time up, uh, space to listen to God. Ngayon, sa prayer and fasting po, ang gagawin ko, puro mag-pray. Teka po, uh, ganito po, but we will go into the during the fast, what you will do. So, again, you commit to a type of fast, you, you choose a time that you will observe daily to pray and uh listen to the Lord. And part of your preparation is, anong gagawin ko bukod sa prayer and fasting? You know? Do I, yung iba kasi, and like myself, I I devote that certain time, not only to pray, but to read. Not only reading the Bible, but reading a certain book. Like, if you have a longer time to devote it for prayer and fasting, then you might have time to, you might like to, during this time, this day, for example, tomorrow, mm-hmm. I will pray for 30 minutes, read the Bible for 30 minutes, read this book for 15 minutes. Pwedeng ganun eh. Depende po sa inyo. Pero lahat ng gin- gusto nyong isama dun sa activity nyo, nyo while prayer and fasting will enhance, will enrich mm-hmm. your experience with the Lord. Okay? Mm-hmm. 
So, that is preparing. So, ngayong gabi pa lang, ihanda nyo na yung yung oras, yung notebook, yung lugar, yung oras. Okay? And the type of... Dadagdag lang ako sa lugar. No? If you can go to a place na somewhere that is so quiet, ang recommendation ko, kung may sasakyan ka, may motor, you go to a place na favorite mo, na, na wala masyadong gagambala sa'yo. Sa akin, uh, I go to the AMSEM, American Cemetery, so I can spend time with... Open na palagay ko op- open pa rin siya, pero limited ang ano. So you can go to a place sa cementerio, kung meron kayong magandang lugar na pwede niyong pag uh, puna sa Antipolo, di ba? So medyo, even sa malapit sa or a place dun sa bahay nyo na you can say it's a peaceful place for you wherein you meet God. Kasi that is, uh, prayer is also an encounter with God. Eh. Yes. So you prepare yourself and and uh, a lot of a, a time and a place to meet the Lord. Parang date nyo ba kay Lord? Yes. And bakit importante yung place? Kasi, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes during a moment of prayer, lalo na ako, when I tahimik ako mag... Uh, I usually pray, I start with silence, and then when I start to feel na inaantok ako, I, I pray aloud, or I walk around. But there are moments I cry when I pray. So, pag may kasama ka sa ibang is kasama ka sa bahay na hindi naman naiintindihan gagawin ginagawa mo sabi ay hibang na tong kasama ko yeah, okay so, hindi ka din hindi ka rin malayang makaka-express ng sarili mo if you really want to to you know to kneel down you want to cry before the lord so ang sinasabi lang namin find a place na you will have that liberty to cry before the Lord and tell your heart out to God. Okay? So, what do that's preparing pa lang. Now, what do you do during during a I, fast? So, again, we need to focus and observe the time and the place to to do your prayer time and fasting. So, how many of fast can I pray? Ka and ganito po, pag simula parang ano 'yung pagpe-pray ko? Huwag po kayong mag-alala, every day, starting tomorrow, we will send out a reflection guide and some points for prayer. Now, hindi po mahaba yung listahan ng pananalangin, but it doesn't mean maikli lang ang, ang, ang listahan ng pananalangin. Ibig po sa yung mara, parang starting point lang po ng ating pananalangin ito. And then, there are just so many things to pray for. So, Ma, you might find yourself na once you start praying, focus on ourselves, asking God to change our hearts, uh, confessing to the Lord. Mamaya, naaalala mo na yung taong galit mo, pinagpe-pray mo na. Yung ganun. So, talagang kailangan ng oras. So, you might like also to have a list aside from what we will give you. So, we will send through Facebook. You'll find us a FPCP Facebook itong aming isi-send out na prayer guide. Ngayon po ang tema nating lahat because pastor is saying and which I agree very much to na we need to grow. We need to be fruitful in our lives because that is our calling. We were made to be fruitful. Pero para mangyari yon dapat very strong ang connection natin sa Lord. And hindi lang connected tayo pero tunay na nire-recognize natin siyang Lord sa buhay natin. So, ay yung sinasabing Lord, ay mapag-uusapan natin yan ng mahabang panahon pa sa messages at sa material na gagamitin natin, it will help us think about and uh, makilala pa lalo the one we call Lord. So, ang title po ng ating uh, series for reflection ay I Am. This is... um Actually, di ba parang pag nagpapakilala, I am May. Yung I am palang nakataga, pangalan na yun ng Diyos na ginant. It is what He uses to introduce Him. It is what He used to introduce Himself to Moses. I am who I am. So, yung I am na yun, walang katulad. Siya lang yun. Bukod kangi, ako lang ito, wala nang iba. So, we want to, para po natin ma- sunod yung ating Lord, no? we need to appreciate who He is. Na siya ay karapat dapat na maging Lord ng ating buhay at Master ng ating buhay. So, again, 
uh, wag po kayong mag-alala, meron tayong uh, reflection guide which you may also use as your devotional material. However, if you're following a material already, you've started, okay lang naman. Okay? Hindi po to requirement. Ito pong isi-share namin sa inyo is to help all of us. Mm. And for some of us, bukod dun sa kanilang devotional um, guide na meron na silang na, na set, ano, o ginagamit, ginagamit pa rin nila to. So, meron akong alam na day and night talaga into uh, prayer, into doing devotion or Bible reflection. Mm. Anyway, so, may material po tayo. Itong good news natin na first time namin gagawin. Mm-hmm. Ano Special po talaga kasi kayo. So, first time po namin gagawin na we will have this in Filipino. So, ibig sabihin, ma- ang matatanggap nyo, so, meron tayong layouted form, ibig sabihin, lahat ng kaya ng gadget na mag-Facebook, makikita nyo, pero wag po kayo mag kung ang Meron kayo pang text lang yung what your, your gadget can only accommodate text only form. We will have this material also available in text only form. Mm-hmm. So, ma kung ano yung naka-layout, yun din yung matatanggap nyo. At hindi lang man siya available in English as I said, available din yung text only form in Filipino. Mm-hmm. So, yun po mm-hmm. ay ang hangad ay yeah, fil- hangad namin na mas marami sa atin Wala ay... Wala bang waray? Kasi para sa gila. <laughs> uh, <laughs> De, uh, English or... Uh, English or Filipino. sa English Filipino. yung mga taga- so, Yun pa nga lang, madugo na. Pero uh, we're doing something new this year because you are dear to us. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not that easy to translate everything, ano? Pero ganito po. So, yun, meron tayong guide. Mm-hmm. Meron tayong... Um, so, you... you s- you just do it. You just pray. And during prayer time, baka sabi nyo, Hoy, kasi minsan po talaga nakakaantok. Lalo pag gutom ka, you tend to feel sleepy or inaantok. Mm. So, you be creative. Ako po tumatayo, naglalakad. If you can do prayer walk sa, sa bahay nyo, sa labas ng bahay nyo, kung meron kayong bakuran, you do prayer walk. Mm. And sometimes, you stop praying. You can have, you pray for a while, you read the Bible, or some people start with reading the Bible, doing using the guide, and then they pray, mm-hmm. and then they read again, and they pray. But then you can listen also to music. Yes, you uh-huh. can also, which I do, I love to, you know, prepare myself mm-hmm. by worshipping, and you can mm-hmm. prepare your audio, audio, yung gadgets oh. for that. And also, don't be afraid for moments of silence kasi it will come ang prayer is not one way ibig sabihin po wag kang parang wag puro ikaw lang nagsasalita allow yourselves a moment to listen to God because He will really speak not only when you are reading but when you are completely silent mm-hmm. you know the Spirit of God will just speak to you so ang tawag doon ay listening prayer yes. you listen to the Lord Yes, lalo, he speaks to us. Yes, minsan may mga tanong tayong specific na parang hindi masasabi ng Bible ng hayagan, pero God, the Spirit of God speaks to us. And it's amazing. It just proves that the God we have is a personal God. Okay? Mm-hmm. Meron akong idadagdag lang. Uh, I think this is very important. Yung position natin when yes. we pray. Alam mo, nasubukan ko, nakaluhod ako. Of course, mm-hmm. minsan nakaka... Kasi kapag nakaluhod ka, hindi ka, ma- hindi ka antokin. Pero kapag kanyari, kanyari nakaganyan ka, nakahiga oh, oh. ka, iba, matutulog ka na lang eh. So, importante pala yung positioning. Okay? Yung iba ka, iba naka, ano, tira pa. Okay? Naka-prostate. Iba, naka-prostate, ano? Prostate? Prostrate. Prostrate. Hindi, prostrate. Prostrate, ano? So, ako, ginagawa ko yung kapag nag-stretching ako, you feel your body stretching, ano? Pero it's uh, waking you up. So, importante, gising ka. Hindi ka po pwedeng nahanalangin na tulog. Yes. Okay. So, as you plan to pray alone, spending time with God, you are also allowed or encouraged to pray with somebody. For example, for example, so, pinaplano din yon. For example, uh, halimbawa, ang prayer time ko, halimbawa, kasi lunch ko, if I skip, for example lang to ha, mag-skip ako ng lunch, prayer time, ko lunch time, halimbawa, 12 to 2 o'clock, ganyan. 
Tapos, I will do again, do it na sometime 4 o'clock. Mag 4 o'clock, I will meet with somebody on the phone or video call. And, samahan mo ko, pray tayo together. It can be a prayer partnership with somebody during this whole 14 days. Kasi minsan, na, ibang bagay din, uh, I mean, nakakatulong when you're praying with somebody, ginaganan ka, at saka may natututunan ka sa spirito ng iba sa pananalangin, ba? Ay, ganito siya mag-pray na na-encourage ka, okay? So, you can do that. And, you can do more than two of you. Mm. Depende sa ma-arrange mo. Pwede sa cell group nyo, yes. you spend time in prayer. Yes. Tapos nyo, like, you meet as a cell, siguro focus on praying yes. as a group. And again, seeking God. Lord, hindi um, ka lang nagsasabi, Lord, ito gusto ko mangyari. Lord, anong gusto mo mangyari mm, sa buhay ko? Mm. So that is prayer. And then replenish. So, you focus, you pray, and then replenish. Ang ibig sabihin, bagamat we deny ourselves of food, we need to to be sustained also. Kasi 14 days. So, so inum po tayo whatever type of fast you're doing, kahit full mm. fast, importante na hindi natin nakakaligtan uminom ng maraming tubig. Mm. Okay? Kailangan... Take note ha, wag coke, wag soft drinks, or even yung powdered juice. Oo, ano. yung may pwede, mga citric ano, juices. Pwede fresh juice. Fresh, fresh juice. juice. Wag, wag yung powdered or Uh-oh. synthetic uh, juice. Oo, kasi may... Pag magpa-fast, tapos mag-juice yan yung, ano, ma- acidic sa chan. Okay. So, Water lang ang recommended. Okay. So, anyway, mm-hmm. um, replenish. Don't forget to to drink a lot of fluids. Ba- sa bagay, kahit hindi nagpa-fasting, it is healthy to drink a lot of fluids, mm-hmm. especially water. And then, how do we break the fast? Ibig sabihin, so for 14 days, you have parang limited your intake of food mm-hmm. and then magbe-break na halimbawa sa January 27 we will all break our fast and fellowship sa in touch ibig ba sabihin biglang nung gabi pag sa in touch kumain ka ng eat all you can hindi po ganoon dahil masama yun sa sistema natin so you gradually break your fast ibig sabihin pwedeng uh, gradual intake gradual intake so ibig sabihin mag soft diet ka, mag, mag-soup ka muna, pa isa-isang tinapay, unti-unti kasi pag ma, mabigla, then hindi rin po mainam sa sistema, paano sumakit pa rin ang tiyan nyo. At ito po yung pwede yung asahan. Because you are praying, you are fasting from food, expect um, inconveniences and, and changes in your body. Like, there will you will experience irritation kasi gutom ka. Some of you may have headaches, some of you may na wedding mahihilo. So, un- unless you have a medical condition na sinasabi nga huwag kang bawal o mag-fasting, ano? so huwag kang mag-fast kung sinabi ng doktor mo at ng, mm. ng condition mo na bawal mag-fast. So, but if you're healthy naman, uh, at talaga normal yung medyo nahihilo pag gutom. Okay? Mm. Ngayon naman po, for people, wala namang medical condition, pero sobra talagang payat. Mm. Sobrang payat na parang hindi yata pwedeng walang nourishment. At kung kumain pa kaunti, so mag-ingat din po kayo kasi baka hindi advisable para mm. sa inyo yung mm. walang intake ng food. Mm. Okay? Kaya dagdag lang ako, no? Uh, expect this. Kapag nag, especially do sa mag, nag-full fast, alam nyo ang po pwedeng expect nyo, bad breath. Kasi since hindi ka kumakain, yung, yung, yung sa stomach mo may merong lalabas na somehow hindi magandang Uh-oh. smell. So, yes. mag-toothbrush ka lang, magmumug ka, pwede kang uminom na maraming tubig. Yes. At saka yung sa tubig kasi, if you feel hungry, it's better to drink water yes. para mapuno yung chan mo. Kasi yung, yung chan mo ang nagdidictate sa ka, oh, kailangan ko na, wala nang laman to, kailangan ko na ng, ng pagkain. Pero kapag in mo ng tubig yan, para ka ng busog. So, hindi yes. ka magugutom. Yes. So, maaring tanong yung ate, gusto ko mag-focus in prayer, gusto ko mag-fast, pero hindi pwede. Kasi I'm doing strenuous work, uh-huh. uh, or you are into, you have a online job that is very, uh, requiring so much energy from you, mental energy. Alam niyo po, yung pag-iisip, nakakagutom. <laughs> so, it requires food, and then if you're a student na, uh, very hectic ang schedule mo and you cannot really do 
fast uh, fasting from food then this is what you can do you may do abstinence abstinence is denying yourself some things for example or stopping uh, or parang parang temporary ano you are restraining yourself from doing some things temporarily for example i will deactivate my facebook mm -hmm. for a certain period of time or kaya lang pag nag online class ka ganyan so mm -hmm. pero what is something for some people na who loves um yung manood ng tv or netflix they will say i will not watch netflix mm -hmm. or movies for 14 days okay so Parang i can sinasabi mo kay lord Lord, mas mahal kita kesa net net. I will want mas to... mahal mas mahal kita kesa sa Facebook na yan. Or oh, oh, and then I will focus kasi minsan yung yung free time na natin uh, ginagamit na natin doon. So ang sasabihin lang natin we want to use whatever time we have mm. to spend right. with God. So mm. what else? Some some people kino-combine yung kino-combine nila yung fasting sa food with abstinence. So hindi na sila kumakain ng food, nag abstain pa sila from watching, nag abstain pa sila from social media. So, again, um, hindi po pagalingan to at hindi payabangan na mas matindi yung type of fast mo ay mas, mas points ka sa Lord. Hindi po yun ang ating goal. Again, ang goal natin, mabago tayong lahat ng Panginoon. And the type of fast that you will make is it will just reflect your seriousness mm -hmm. to seek God in your life. So, iba-iba po tayo. Uh, and also, um, again, when we break our fast, mm -hmm. we will come together. Tuloy-tuloy po ang in touch. So, we will see each other every uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. And then, what do we pray for? Again, there are suggested prayer lists dun sa prayer guide na ibibigay natin, mm -hmm. but not limited to that. Of course, we want to experience breakthroughs mm -hmm. uh, in our lives. We want to experience, Lord, meron ako mga bad habits. Gusto ko mabago mo. So, sana, dear, mabaguhin mo ako, Lord. Tapos, mapapansin niyo po, dun sa, sa prayer guide, devotional guide, na we will send out to you, meron, dang, meron po dong uh, konting suggestion na fast on, a certain attitude. So, ito medyo ka twist lang po ito ng konti. We usually fast on food, di ba? Kasi fasting is about food. But this is a, a type of twist into the fasting. Like, fast on, example, complaining. Mm -hmm. uh, kasi, uh, for these 14 days, halimbawa, may tendency ka mag-complain na mag-complain. Mag-complain kang tao, reklamador ka. So, I will fast today. Every day, iba. So, for example, fast on the complaining attitude. So, conscious ka na ko today, kahit maraming nakakayamot o feeling mo, gusto mong mag-complain, mag, mag you are focused on not complaining. Okay? So, mm -hmm. yun po. At every day, again, it's a series on the sayings of Jesus in the book of John. Pito po yun. Pito yung I am sayings niya. Pero hihimayin natin. So, for every saying, uh, itatackle natin siya for two, two days. days. Uh -oh. So, basta po, just follow our page and you'll find it there. And mm -hmm. you are welcome to share it to others. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, pagkatapos po, and then it is the last, and then we will go into prayer time na, and we will mm -hmm. end the no, so you can prepare for your fast. So, when we end our fast, it doesn't mean will end the in prayer. We encourage each one of us to continue prayer. Kumbaga, na ano ka na eh, ang tawag doon na, na, na prepare na yung sistema mo, manalangin, mag, ituloy natin yun. Ituloy natin yung, yung na, 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 ang tawag doon, na momentum in prayer. Kasi ang dami po talagang kailangan ipanalangin. Bukod sa pagbabago sa ating sarili, pagbabago sa ating pamilya, pagbabago sa ating community, pagbabago sa bansa, pagbabago sa mundo. And hanggat hindi po na uubos ang biktima ng COVID, ay may da hindi na puputo lang dahilan natin para manalangin. Okay? So, yun lamang po as we prepare for tomorrow's fast. So, uh, now we will come to our prayer time. Yeah.
Siguro before we continue in the prayer time, no? siguro itong gawin natin itong prayer, prayer and fasting natin, it's really our commitment to the Lord. Mm-hmm. Kaya sinasabi ni Pastor Rami, hindi ito yung pagalingan, hindi mm-hmm. ay mas yung fasting ko, full fast ako. Walang sinabi yan sa fasting mo. Mm-hmm. Wala yan sa, sa akin. Ito, ganito. Yung iba nga, walang tubig eh. No? Pero ang pinaka-importante kasi sa prayer and fasting ay mabago yung ating puso. Yes. Kaya sabi, rend your heart when your heart, yung ialay natin, let's give our hearts to the Lord. Mm-hmm. Okay? And we have to consecrate ourselves before the Lord. Mm-hmm. So this is a time that we can be uh, pure. Okay? As God has cleansed us, talagang hihimay-himay yung Lord. Ano ba yung pangit sa kailangan tanggalin sa akin? I, mag, mainitin ba yung ulo ko? Masakit ba ako magsalita? Ganito ba? Yung sabi mo kanina, makomplain ba ako? So isa, isusulat mo yon so that you can remember, Lord, ay, ay, sa akin, suggestion ko, ano ba yung kailangan mong journal mo? Ano ba yung kailangan mong alisin? Sulat mo dyan. Tapos may isang section ka, ano ba yung kailangan mong ilagay? Put off and put on. So, it is the power of God who can change us. At, again, this is just a, a primer pa lang yan para magiinit ka pa lang so that you can fulfill God's will. God's will. Lordship ng Panginoon this whole year. Yes. So, it's just a, umpisa lang to. Para tayo nagpa-overhaul kay Lord. Yes. And many of us in this spiritual family, we are all already doing this. So we are, aside from reflecting from the Word of God, we are doing journaling. Ibig sabihin, you are just taking down notes of what God is telling you. So for example, may sinabi ang Lord through a Bible passage mm. na binasa mo, then write it down. Tapos, anong sinasabi niya patungkol sa passage na yon? Is there a promise you want to claim? Is there something, is there a command He wants you to do? Or mm. is there a ch- something that He wants you to change? Or a mm. sin that He wants you to forsake? Mm. So, note it down. Alam mo, magandang habit. And then, as he mentioned, as Pastor mentioned, you may note down your prayer requests, mm-hmm. your 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 concerns for prayer. And then, pag nasagot day, pwedeng first day pa lang tomorrow, wala ka pang nakalista pa lang, wala pang check. Pero, biro mo, ang, ang amazing. When God says, I will do an amazing thing, baka mamaya next week, yung isa sa listahan mo ng panalangin, nasagot. So, mm-hmm. it's good to take to track or monitor mm-hmm. God's answers mm-hmm. to our prayers because He really does answer prayers. And His answers, again, always the best. So, pag sumagot siyang yes, best yon. Pag sumagot siyang no, tanggapin mo, best yon. Ikabubuti mo yon. At pag sumagot siya ng wait, still the best. Still the best. So, wait. We will mm-hmm. wait. So, and then, lastly, meron pa pala akong nakalimutan. So, mm-hmm. uh, Pag nagpe-pray tayo, so nakalimutan ko. Sige, uh, bigla, nakalimutan ko. <laughs> nakalimutan ko. <laughs> Inadagdag ko, pero bigla pero nakalimutan ko. Pero ito, ito, ah, may naalala ko. Importante yung, uh, when you pray, meron kang tinatawag na faith goals. Yes. Ano ba yung, by faith, ano ba yung goal ko? What will happen to you? What will be my attitude? What will be, mm. I like, be like? Ano ba magiging si Popeng etong 20 21. Yes, At ano ba yung well. ano ba yung gusto mong ipagawa Lord sa akin? Yes. Yun. Yes, tama yung sinabi. I remember also dun sa devotional guide na ibibigay namin sa iyo. Mm-hmm. May dun sa prayer concern, may mga things to do. Hindi naman po marami. For example, just to give you ano a head start ano. January is declared in the law, by law na National Bible Month. Mm-hmm. Inano yan, isinabatas ni President Duterte na every January, it's National Bible Month. At January 25 is National Bible Day. At may Bible Week pa nga. So, meron dun mong kahe, anong gagawin mo para i-celebrate ng makabuluhan ang National Bible Month. Mm-hmm. So, isipin mo na, ako, niisip ko, kung Kung ang habit ay magbasa ng Bible once a day, ah, gagawin ko twice a day. Pwedeng ganon. Or, mm-hmm. I will, whatever I read, I will commit to share it to somebody. So, be creative. How, hindi lang, ay, ni-recognize ko National Bible Month. Mm-hmm. Do something creative to celebrate and make it meaningful not only for you, 
but for other people. So, that's just a, a preview kung ano yung pwede niyong makita sa material Ay, bukas. To sige, sige. So, ngayon, mag- mananalangin tayo, yes. no? So, wala magpe-pray. Yes. Mm. So, uh, ipikit natin ang ating mata and let's start uh, acknowledging again the presence of the Lord that God is listening right now. Let's come to Him in prayer. Lord, in this uh, prayer and fasting time, we would like to experience a deeper reconnection with you. Lord, marami sa amin ang hihina, marami sa amin ang lalamig, marami sa amin ang nawawala ng pag-asa, marami sa amin gusto nang mag-give up, marami din sa amin, Panginoon, ay nakakakalimot na, Panginoon, we're too busy with, with so many things in this life. But, this prayer and fasting time, this will be an intentional time and an aggressive time and a strategic time for us to meet you, to reconnect with you, to be one with you. Lord, apart from you, we are nothing. Parati naming sinasabi ito, Panginoon. Ikaw yung, you are the vine and we are the branches. If we remain in you and you in us, Lord, we will bear much fruit. But apart from you, we can do really nothing. Kaya itong prayer and fasting ito, it's about connecting with you, the source of every good thing. Yes. And Lord, kapag kami parating konektado sa iyo, if we are one with you, we will experience a breakthrough in our lives. Lord, magkakaroon kami ng mga bunga. Yung mga inaasam-asam namin mabago sa aming buhay, yung mga goals namin na gusto namin ma-achieve, for your glory, not just for ourselves, but to make you famous, to make you happy, Lord. Mangyayari ito, Panginoon. Kasi malalaman po namin yung kagustuhan mo. Magiging maliwanag sa amin kung ano yung gusto mong ipagawa sa amin. At hindi kami kikilos, Panginoon. Base lang sa naiisip namin o nararamdaman namin. Kundi, since kami ikaisa sa iyo, Panginoon, ituturo mo sa amin, sasabihin mo sa amin, ibubulong mo sa amin, Panginoon, kung ano yung dapat namin gawin kung ano yung dapat naming itapon, kung ano yung dapat naming ipalit doon sa mga pangit sa buhay namin. Mm-hmm. And it is you, O oh Lord, mm-hmm. who can change us. Yes. Lord, marami sa amin, Panginoon, ay, ay in bondage. Ibig sabihin, may, maybe nalululung ko kami, Panginoon. Hindi lang sa masamang bisyo, Panginoon. Ang masamang bisyo, hindi lang to alak, babae, drugs, or whatever, Panginoon. Ang masamang bisyo, it could be in a form of... Uh, thought patterns, Lord. Mm-hmm. Yung bad habits, Panginoon. Na parating negative thinker kami, parating mm-hmm. uh, hope, puro hopelessness kami, Panginoon. Mm-hmm. We look at people, we are angry. Lord, masyado kaming uh, naninita or critical. May mm-hmm. critical mindset kami, Panginoon. Na parang puro pangit lahat ang nakikita namin. Or even the, the beautiful things, the blessings that we receive, parang kulang parate. Parang there are times we compare ourselves to others to the point that we lose that joy. So, so Lord, they, there are many forms of uh, bandages, Panginoon. So, may, marami sa amin dito, ang mga kalalakihan, maraming uh, in bandage in por- pornography, maraming in bandage sa games, mga kabataan, in bandage dun sa, sa, sa sex, in, maraming in bandage sa mga sa, sa, sa movie watching, Panginoon, na talagang uh, adik-adik na, Panginoon. Yung iba naman sa amin, Panginoon, ay ano, in bondage with, with vices. Pero Lord, through your power, through our connection with you, through prayer and fasting, being one with you, Lord, we will receive liberty. We'll be free from all these bandages. So we declare right now, Lord, ngayon pa lang, Panginoon, ay aalisin mo na yung, yung tanikala, yung 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 mga uh, nakaposas kami, chains sa bandages na to, and you will set us free by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. We declare right now, Lord, even today, that we will be released from all those bandages, and as we pray and fast, we will continue to remove all those things that is hindering us from coming to you, Lord. So, Lord, we would like to also recommit ourselves to you, O Lord. Your call to us, us being your children. You called us, O God, to serve you. You are our master. You are our Lord. 
Pero there are many times, Lord, we are serving ourselves. We are ser mm -hmm. serving the blessings, Lord, not the blesser. Mm -hmm. Lord, patawarin niyo po kami, Panginoon, kung nakapokus lang kami sa trabaho, kung nakapokus lang kami sa mga hobbies, o kung nakapokus lang kami sa sarili namin, pinasasaya lang namin ang sarili namin. Lord, we would like to recommit to you, Lord, your call to us. Lord, maraming mga G12 leaders ngayon, maraming mga anak mo, Panginoon, na dahil sa pandemic ay nang lalamig, nang hihina, at hindi na kumikilos, Panginoon. At hinihintay na lang mawala itong pandemic na to, hinihintay na ma-injectionan. Pero Lord, walang makakapigil sa amin. Lord, ikaw mismo you set an example. Even yung mga sufferings mo, Panginoon, hindi nakapigil ito para sa magawa mo ang iyong uh, purpose kung bakit ka nagpunta dito sa mundo nito. And Lord, you have a purpose for each one of us. Mm -hmm. Ang lahat ng mag-aasawa, lahat ng mga, mga, mag, mga pamilya, Panginoon, you have a great purpose for all of us and that mm -hmm. is to honor you and to serve you. Mm -hmm. Lord, we would like to, to commit to you, Lord, yung uh, mga issues namin ngayon dito sa mundong ito, sa, sa bansa po namin. Alam mo, Panginoon, ang kahirapan ng Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. At hindi lang kami ang naghihirap. Mas, marami pang mga mas mahihirap kesa sa amin. Or even yung mga mayayamang bansa, naghihirap din sila, Panginoon. Mm -hmm. Lord, itong pandemic na ito, it's eating us up, Lord. Pero, I believe, oh God, you just allowed it, this to happen. We will accept this, but, Lord, we ask for your mercy, we ask for your grace, that in your right time, Lord, and we declare that this this uh, pandemic na ito ay mapuputol, matatapos din, Panginoon. Mm -hmm. At kung matapos to, Panginoon, as we prepare ourselves, Lord, to be released from this bandages, Lord, ng ng pandemic nito, yung, yung uh, epekto nito sa amin, Panginoon. Ngayon pa lang ay uh, uh, magtatagumpay na kami, Panginoon. Makikita namin ang iyong kamay na yes. humahawak sa amin. You stabilize us, O God. You are holding on to us, Lord, as we hold on to you. At ikaw yung aming pag-asa. Lord, nilalapit po namin ang, ang aming bansa. Lord, yung corruption. Lord, I, I rebuke that those corruption. Lord, mag-raise up ka ng mga uh, leaders, Lord, upang ma mag-serve sila ng may righteousness, O God. And Lord, uh, kami bilang mga anak mo, bilang mga alagad mo, na gagawa kami, yung, yung we'll do our part, na hindi po kami lalabag sa sa ipinag-uutos, sa, 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 sa batas, Panginoon, kundi we will be good, law-abiding citizens, Panginoon. At makakadadagdag po kami yung community of believers, Lord, para mas maging maganda ang buhay dito sa mundong ito. Habang hinihintay po namin, Panginoon, yung pagkuhan nyo sa amin. Pero hanggat nandito kami, hanggat nabubuhay po kami, Panginoon, ipagkakalat po namin ang kabutihan mo sapagkat ikaw ang pag-asa ng bayan. Ikaw ang pag-asa ng lahat ng tao sa mundong ito. So Lord, gamitin mo ang, ang lahat ng nakikinig ngayon, wherever you are right now, Receive now the power of God. Receive now the healing of God. Receive now the comfort of God. Mm -hmm. And God is assuring you, my brothers and my sisters, na hindi kayo iiwan ng Panginoon. Yes. Let's come together and offer our lives to the Lord. Let's offer our hearts to the Lord. Okay? That all of us will return to the Lord. At gagawin po namin, Panginoon, ito through prayer and fasting. So, turuan niyo po kaming manalangin. Turuan niyo po kami na magkaroon ng tamang attitude sa fasting. Mm -hmm. It's not just about completing that 12 day, uh, 14-day fast, Panginoon. But it's all about a changed heart. Mm -hmm. yes. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po, po, Panginoon. And you will do amazing things amongst us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And maganda yung prayer ni Pastor, ano, yung closing niya. In this prayer and fasting, there should be expectation. Mm -hmm. Because God is moving, imposible yung wala siyang gagawin. So there should be expectation and growing expectation si that God is going to, uh, going to do something good and beautiful mm -hmm. in our lives. So again, ito po, kami po ito ulit at uh, we are happy that you joined us tonight. And we would like to greet you before we close this mm -hmm. evening's fellowship. So, 
Babatiin po natin. Do we have first timers tonight? Uh, nakakatuwa maraming our friends from G1 are joining us yung kapamilya natin at marami tayong kapamilya from yung mga taga nagpayong we love you ha keep on taga San Miguel at taga San Miguel taga you, you keep on ano taga CLF. Uh, supporting mm. your pastors at mga taga CLF also and Yes, ah uh, Alex, do we have the list of ano? Walang list pero kanina meron, meron, meron. mga tayong mga first timers, hindi ko na ma-scroll down po, pasensya na kayo. But all of you who are with us for the first time, we you have made this evening even more special. So we want to greet you and we hope mm-hmm. that you will continue to join us again every Wednesday. Tuloy-tuloy po tayo at mm-hmm. alam niyo po, samantalahin niyo na yung Mukha namin ni Pastor. Ganun eh, no? Kasi darating panahon, excited ako. Iba naman yung host natin for our In Touch. And excited ako na iba naman. So, binabati pa namin si Nicole Estrella. Good evening. Si Judith Lumanog. Si Ate Leda. Magandang gabi sa'yo from Nagpayong. Si mm-hmm. Dana Fernandez na siya. Mrs. Fernandez. Mm-hmm. And Kuya Boy at Abrugar. Magandang gabi sa'yo. And Jason Iboho. And of course, we have Jennibeth Reynado and her friends. Si Maris Balinkit. Ayan. At saka mga kamag-anak to ni, ni Chris. Chris mm. Aruta. Hello to you. And we have Jane Catedrilla Bautista. Good evening. Uh, Fia Omila. Sabi ni Jennibeth. Binabati ka. Grace Villato. Mm-hmm. Ate Jeanetenia. Hello, Jeanette. Salamat sa kape. <laughs> At uh, we have, of course, si Ate Josie palaging oh. na andyan. Ayan, si Max. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have si Carmela Angeles. Oh, si Mela. Hello. Carmela. And then we have Princess Kate Delasan. Hello to you. Jem. Jem Ordiz. And... Nakita ko kanina nag-love si ano, Pastora Fides. Nakita ko si, si Carlene Jane. Then Carlene Jane Crew. Sorry, Ana. Ah, sorry po. Ah, si Brea Hitero, Hiterosa, si Kuya Olan, si Dana, ah, si Rolando Agsalon, si Dana Yonesa, Mich- ah, si Michelle, si Sherry Manson, mm. Beck Gomez. And hello uh, Ate Beck, Ay, we have, ish. ito pa, si Ate Rose Rumuar, magandang mm-hmm. gabi. Shell Mararang po, magandang gabi. Si Ding Caruncho, Willie Caruncho, good Ay, evening eh. sa'yo. Si Elaine. And of course, Elaine, hello. Kamu sa'yo yung pagbabait nyo. Oo, ready ka na ba? Melba. Mag- Hi Melba. Si Eric, bro Eric. Diano. Eric Diano. NCMs, of course, kasama oh. niya. Brian May Cruz. Glenn Moore Soria, good oh. evening. Si Serge, happy birthday, Serio. Oh, ng last Sunday. Last Sunday. And then we have Christian Balbin Caranto. Hi. Mm-hmm. Is, ano, Cathy Caranto, uh, Caranto watching with you. Hello. And then, of course, si Fides, eh, si Pastor oh. Fides, alam, nakita ko siya nag... nag Sabi niya, NCC joins FPCP in this two-week prayer and fasting. Yes, yes. praise the Lord. And mm. uh, we will pray together. We will uphold each other in prayer. So, Eric T. Eric T is watching... Tapos sa Sal- yung natin. <laughs> si ba- Sally Vivar. Ayan. Si Aliana Medina. And Catherine Miguel, teacher ka. Mm-hmm. Leia Saragosa Inahe, palagi po ito nanonood si, si Ate Leia. Karen Laguna. R.C. De La Cruz. Hey, Uy, R.C. R.C. Welcome, good, we miss you. No, we miss you, R.C. Uh, good ha, to totoo. see you. Okay. Mary Jane Dima Felix Hervias. Nakabalik na ba kayo? Kamusta ka, Mary Jane? <laughs> Oo, tapos si... Nabati na natin. Si uh, Monroe Inahe. Hello to you, mga pamangkin ni Josie. Maria Elena Erquisa Bato. Uh, and, ayan po. Ayan. So, kung hindi po namin kayo nabati, uh, 
Binabati namin kayo. Hindi namin ma- makita lahat ng pangalan. But we really appreciate that you are joining us. Ngayon, ano po, uh, manalangin tayo at kailangan natin ng kalakasan ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Okay? Amen. So, this has been a pleasant evening, a blessed evening with you all. And we hope to be with you in the spirit this starting tomorrow in prayer and fasting lahat po tayo nananalangin mm. sabay-sabay yanigin natin ng langit yes. through our prayers sabay-sabay tayo alam nyo nananalangin. mga taga CLF taga PEC. nagpayong PEC at ang uh, CFFC oh. kasama mga taga CCF at ang Victory na, uh, na kasabay pa rin natin nananalangin and some churches from Drizal G12 Network yeah, there madami pong nananalangin so yanigin nga natin in the spirit world this this season let us um, unite ourselves in prayer okay. let's be one with the lord okay. okay so good night everyone we love you have a blessed evening